Easy Tigers. I hope everyone's fine and dandy. First of all, welcome back. Just want to big up the Patreons. It's thanks to you guys we can get out and explore these sites. Uh, it all adds to the end contribution. And we're all in it together to work out what the heck has been going on in this world, really. Come on. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'll go out and explore sites. I can find ancient sites, sites that haven't been seen before. I work with geopolymer. The fact that this is megalithic block work and in between the block work is some sort of cement. So let's have a look at the geographical positioning of these uh, buried structures. So uh, the white parts on this LiDAR are actually a lake and part of a stream or a mini river, shall we say. And you, you can notice these little nuggets uh, everywhere. They've actually turned this area into an assault course as well. So it's in the woodlands in a part of a castle grounds so this area here is where the uh, the depression part where it's quite dense i'm zooming in now this is actually where this little complex is well when i say little complex it's obviously part of a bigger thing that's been buried in my opinion because it can't have all the same characteristics as everything else but then just be a crumb you know it's definitely something that's obviously been heavily altered smashed up and buried on top of or buried over sorry so so, and one other thing about this area is it is dense in springs. All around this area is full of springs. Water is springing up everywhere around here. Let's have a look at the other lidars. So there you go. You can just see like, the, 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 like some sort of depression in the ground. So that's where we're going to be. And I found out so many stuff about this stuff. Like I said, I filmed this on the GoPro. But it didn't work. So I have to go back and film it on my phone. So let's have a look. So... It's actually in some sort of like Hamlet sort of thing and you have to go through an arch to get into this segment. And like everywhere else, it's just loads of places have been blocked up. The tunnels have been blocked up. I actually stick a torch down there. And the ground level that we're on, you can see that it is just a load of earth and leaves that have been pushed up against the, the base of this structure. So God knows how many of these entrances have been blocked up. And I couldn't work out what this was for. This is just straight into the sandstone. And it goes on for blinking ages. So maybe a pipe went in here or some sort of... There is actually uh, cables in this cave. I'm not saying they're ancient, but maybe that's how they got the power supply to the cables. So you're coming through this little arch up there. It wouldn't surprise me if there were steps underneath that arch to bring it down to this level. It's only about half a floor. Look, here we go. This is a better view for you. I mean, look how far this goes. And it's actually going the opposite way to Heaver Castle. So it's going away from the castle. So it's very... I was going to get, get crawled down there, but... It's just... Uh, you wouldn't be able to crawl out backwards very fast. If anything was to happen. And directly above me is a block, and it looks like it's just going to fall off. So I couldn't wait to get out of that little area. Look, there's the arch that you walk in, and there's also bits of render. This a flash that is, you can almost see. Look at that! Look at that! Do you know what? This is groundbreaking. What I'm going to show you here because it's going to knock your socks off. I've saved it till the end, but you'll see these cats. And it's something that's put a lot of stuff. Look, more of the render on the wall. It's something that's put a lot of things together. A lot of dots have been connected here, and it seems either something very smart or very fishy has gone on. You'll see clues throughout the video, but you might not put it together till I say at the end. And it was literally as I was leaving this place. This is one of the entrances into the complex. And it's as I was leaving this place, I clocked it. I was like, oh my God. So you can almost see bits of render on here. And there's, oh, I'll tell you what, watch this. This was very peculiar stuff. Look at this symbol. It's like the 666 or something like that. Or yeah, let me just show you what it is. I've done a little bit of research. So the closest I could find to it was this, and it's funny that I was having a chat with Waking Up With Analog and Dr. Longo, Old World Florida, and we, we, we actually mentioned these um, symbols, and it's funny that I go out and find them in the wall, etched into the wall. Now, I think it's just a shorthand or an abbreviated version of that, but let's see what this symbol symbolizes. So it says the Triskelion symbolism, one of the oldest symbols of Europe. The Triskelion dates back over 5,000 years. It is associated with Celtic tribes and was found throughout Celtic society. On religious items, 
pottery, clothing and stones and monuments. While its popularity declined with the advent of the Romans, the symbol continued to be an important influence of the Celtic culture. Triskelion symbols, triplicities, triplis <laughs> life cycles, birth, life and death, heaven, earth and damnation, holy trinity, father, son and holy spirit, father, mother and child, spirit, mind and body, power, intelligence and love. To the rock now what's interesting about all this is like you've got distinct layers and these layers are separated from the top of the wall to the ceiling and that's a common thing i see in these ancient sites now what's the chances of that like the doorway is going to be the size of the walls to the ceiling it's it's it's, it's, it's all done anyway um you, and what you're not going to believe me but there's actually lines of metal running in between this sandstone now this layer that you can see here is not actually uh, sandstone. It's a render and I'll show you that. But this is a close up. Now it was very peculiar because you've got this metal in there. It's definitely some sort of iron because you've got all the uh, iron oxide oxidizing. So what, what is going on here? And you'll see this throughout the whole of this structure. In the joints is a, it's probably about five mil. So it's half a centimeter thick of iron very peculiar stuff like here you can see it running around the whole of the building very weird stuff but getting back to it uh, there's cables hanging but i don't think they're ancient i think they're probably done at world war ii or maybe a bit before in malta when i see the um underground doors made out of limestone in rabat in the catacombs in inverted commas catacombs so what's strange about this i need to give you a lowdown because this was actually cast in um sandstone and then you've got some weird mixture that's been attached to the sandstone externally when i mean externally i mean on the outside of the sandstone so this wall that you see now is not sandstone and you're gonna i'm gonna prove this to you and you, you're gonna be your, your socks are gonna get knocked off and this is what i found in liverpool as well by the way so when i was in a quarry in liverpool there was this humongous red sandstone block there's two of them so the bottom one was just the red sandstone block and the top one had all this like pre-render added to it. And I just couldn't work out what had gone on. But now I fully understand there's two coatings to this. So maybe this was done to decoy you, to make you think that these are natural and they've been cut out of the stone because you've got all these like tool marks in them. But look at the iron, look at the, look at the plate of iron that runs through all this. It's very peculiar stuff. So yeah, maybe maybe this extra coat has been added to make you seem like it hasn't been man-made. Just hold hold the hold that thought because you're, it's going to knock your socks off. What I'm going to show you, you ain't going to believe it. And again, like I'm always saying, if you look at the ceiling to the wall, it's completely separate. And also, there's so many weird markings all around the wall. Like it's very strange. And this is a door I'm trying to close it <laughs> there's two of these doors down here and look, you can see where they've put cables in there I don't know why the cables go in there but it's been chased in and they've put it in with some sort of almost like concrete sort of stuff putty concrete obviously it's modern it's not old I don't I don't think this is old at all probably World War two oldest it wouldn't surprise me if this sort of place got reused in World War Two, you know, as a, as a shelter or something like that. Oh, I didn't want to blind the dog. But you can see the chase mark, the geopolymer door. And this is a light switch, um, which was interesting. This gives you an idea, really. Like, I see these light switches in Malta, and they were quite old. They were, like, in the late 1800s. But, who knows? I could be wrong. And you can see the material and the chase mark. Uh, not the chase mark, the material that's covering the chase mark up as it goes up. So the cable would be behind this material. It's interesting stuff, it really is interesting stuff. But like I said, I'm not saying this is ancient, it's just funny that they've got a, a power supply in the cave. But look at this, this iron that's running in between these joints, it's, it's really peculiar stuff. 
really peculiar. I, I can't even, I don't know what's going on there. Can you see the difference as well? Like, the, as soon as the walls finish and the ceiling goes on top, that's the separation. See, my friend was actually saying that that stuff is very similar to the stuff that I found in Malta that's holding the plates with a pipe behind it. Look at all these weird lines over it. It's like they cast this extra layer over it and then just put a, a drill over it to make it look like it's authentic. But there's the chase mark and it's got the cable in it. But you can even see here, you can see the limestone behind and then you can see this other material that's been spread up all over it. And I swear they're, they're doing this to make it look like it's natural. But when, like, I can't keep saying this, but there's a part in this video that's going to knock your absolute socks off. It's going to change how you think about these sort of places. So I guess a light would have gone there. And also you can see the difference in this, it, this mix. That's, like, I'm not on about the geopolymer. The geopolymer is actually behind these, this material on the wall. Let me show you in a minute. So they've just spread all that up the wall to make it look like this is natural. It's incredible, isn't it? It really is incredible stuff. I mean, look at what's going on with all these lines. Like, what's going on here? This is sectional. Maybe it's been spread on sectional. And another thing that I've noticed, it's actually going, uh, this iron, iron oxide is actually going over the, the top of the bottom layer and the bottom of the top layer. So it's acting like a plaster going over the two, over the seam of the cracks. That's what it looks like. doors two two doors down and this is just trying to look at the mechanism because i couldn't actually look at it in more the door actually went straight up to the door frame so you couldn't see nothing like it was the most perfect snug fit and down here so they must have just done this geopolymer and put this frame inside it and then they've smeared all this stuff that you can see on the right hand side what this stuff is here it's like, uh, it's like a pre-render sort of stuff to give it this authentic look. You can see it spread over here, but you can see where bits of it have come off, like here. Do you get me? You can even see it there, like heavily dense there, like I'm zooming in now on that. So I don't know how old it is. But these swirls of iron running around, it's just very peculiar. Just an eye, it looks like one of them eye symbols. But again, take note of this iron that's in between. Like, how does that even happen in, in look, Satan, Satan written up there. How does that even happen in geology? Like you, you have a layer of sandstone, then you have a layer of iron, and then you have a layer of sandstone again. Very peculiar stuff. Very, very peculiar stuff. It just don't make sense. So it seems like this was an old, old complex. They've blocked up a lot of it. We just have a crumb of it poking out and it looks like it got reused within the last hundred years for something. Now this is what is, this is gonna, this is, this is where it gets funky. This is where it gets funky, I'm telling you. That you can see the sandstone. Look at the colour of the orange of the sandstone. This is what I've got to take note. The sandstone is all—it's all made out of sandstone. You've got the, but everything that you see now is some sort of render or pre-render. Like I'm going to show you because this is the actual clip now where you see this. Take note of the water collection on the right-hand side, going down the stairs. 
Look at this. What is going on here? These cats, eh? I'm definitely 100%. This 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 layer that's on here now is just to throw you off the scent to make you realise or make you think that this is cut out of stone because it looks like it's stone cut stuff. And my mate was going, "Look, this has all been cut out of the stone." Look, wait till you see what I'm about to show you. First of all, let's just have a look out here. So that tunnel I was walking through, I'm at the other end of it now, looking in, looking back towards the, into the complex. Take note of the colour of the ceiling. Please take note of that. Now there was cables that come out here, like that, some light switch. Like, the light's too bright, but look at that. Look. That's what you do if you're putting a light fi fixing in or a fixture or something like that. You know, you chase the hole out and you'll have the cables poking out. Very peculiar. Like, how are you doing that? If this was not a geopolymer mix, unless them cables are dead straight, it's not happening. So anyway, take note of the ceiling, because this is where it gets funky, I'm telling you. This is where I clocked it. I thought, wow. Caught them out. Caught them out. And like I said, the top of the wall, uh, the, sorry, the ceiling is sitting directly on top of the wall. Like it's just done on, it's, it's crazy. It's absolute crazy. Now this is it. Now this is just gonna, this is like the best bit of the video because it cements everything that I've ever said. Now I'm just in another entrance or, and I looked up and I thought, wow, what's going on here? And then it showed you there's a bit that had fallen off and you can see the, the sandstone behind it or underneath it. So whatever's been put over this is some sort of concrete or, or acting like a concrete sort of mix to make it seem like it's natural because you've got now all these tool marks over it look at it wait till i pan up you ain't gonna i can't i can't believe it so i'm just showing you now like the, t the levels look at the levels and then boom look at that look at that you are taking a mick ain't you you're taking a mick out of us they must be laughing their heads off we're sitting there going around saying all this stuff and it's coated in something else. Like, what's all that about? So, let me just make sure you understand what's going on here. All the stuff you see on the walls has been added. It's an addition to make it look like it's natural. Look at that. So, behind all this imitation of stone cut wall is the geopolymer. The red sandstone. Look at that. Can you believe that, eh? I knew I was right. I've seen this abundant in quite a few places, and the most uh, one that springs to mind is a quarry called Hellsby Quarry in Liverpool. And the geopolymer, the, the sandstone, the red part underneath was just, there was an abundant amount of it, and I couldn't work out what was going on. But it's clear the something's been spread over this stuff. So the geopolymer is, is the red sandstone. It just looks out of place. Again, these are ancient sites. This is in Hellsby Quarry again. And like I said, these, these are chase marks. And you put plates there because behind this is services. And we're linking this with Malta because this is what I've discovered in Malta as well. So behind this is some sort of service. And underneath this would have been some sort of service. But they've just chopped this well down and built on top of it. Nothing to see here. Move. So there you go, guys. What do you think? You've got light switch down there, cables, geopolymer doors. Some render all over it to make it look like it's natural. But again, we're just on the tip of the iceberg. Who knows what is going on underneath all this stuff, eh? Who really knows? And look how much earth has been pushed up all these places. There must be multiple entrances here. Multiple. Let's just recap. So yeah, I just want you to remember. <clears throat> if anyone knows what that is, please let me know because I don't get it. And don't forget about this render that's gone over it. It's not even render. They're just saying that to make it look like it's cut out of a stone. And the light switch, eh? <laughs> And let's not forget the famous geopolymer doors. 
I mean, I really enjoyed this exploration. It was it was incredible. I'm looking to get out at the end of uh, this month again. I'll be going up to Beach Caves up up north to see a friend of mine, and then I'll be going over to the West Midlands. I'll be doing like a big circle to scoop up some uh, some nuggets. So it's going to be interesting. I've got a few more videos to do from Malta. Um, so don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, support if you can, and all that jazz. One love, guys. Ta-da. Ta-da.